Good day, everyone. I'm your professor, subject professor in control engineering. I'm engineer manager Mandane, and this uh, day I will discuss to you the introduction to control systems. So let's start. This is the principles of control systems, chapter one, uh, con introduction to control systems, and. This presentation is credit to University Technical Malaysia Malacca. And so let's begin. Okay, but but before that, um, let's have motivation time. So do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. And yan po sabi ni Jesus sa John 14, 1. And uh, all to all my students, I just want to encourage you so na kahit anong troubles ang pinagdadaanan nyo, struggles man yan. And if you think you are very anxious sa mga oras na to, so do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in Jesus Christ. So, thank you. And hopefully, na-encourage kit ko kayo kahit sa eh, dahil sa verse na to. Okay, so this is our objectives for this uh, class. Uh, upon completing this topic, you should know the fundamentals of control systems, the comparison between open loop and closed loop control schemes, and the design objectives of acquiring control systems. So, um, magkakaroon muna tayo ng brainstorming and so this is my activity number one. In just one minute, you need to discuss with your partner uh, what a control system is all about. Okay, so ito po ang magiging attendance quiz ninyo for this uh, week. Uh, you need to look for a partner. Uh, look up for a partner then you need to discuss this with your partner so what a control system is all about then uh, yung napag-usapan ninyo ilalagay ninyo doon sa Microsoft okay or PDF ninyo whatsoever basta po kung ano yung napag-usapan ninyo put it on writing then parang in a minute so for example ito yung sinabi ni Juan at ito naman sinabi ni Pedro ganon so at least uh, nagkaroon kayo ng brainstorming on and discussions about control system so and yun yung ipapasa nyo sa attendance quiz natin okay so let's start so this is the control system the basic block diagram of control system so ito yung may input tayo then may output so yung input nandiyan yung stimulus and then then the new desired response but pag pumunta sa control system pag pumasok yan then nandoon na yung output natin which is magiging response na siya then makikita mo na diyan yung actual response so this is control system definition it consists of subsystems and processes or plans assembled for the purpose of controlling the outputs of the processes. It provides an output or response for a given input or stimulus. And a control system is an interconnection of components forming a system configuration that would provide a desired output in response to input signals. So this, is the these are the objectives. It control or regulate the output from some processes to be constant at the required or desired value and make the process output follow a particular changing form. So we build control systems for four primary reasons. First is the power amplifications, example the radar antenna position, and we and the second one is the remote control. Example for that is the robot, robot, robots in, in contaminated areas. Third is the convenience of in, input form. Example is the temperature control system. 
or uh, usually mas madalas natin gamitin sa air conditioning system and also the compensation for disturbances example is the antenna position in the process in the presence of a strong wind in addition we can move large equipment with precision and point huge antennas toward the farthest reaches of universe to pick up faint radio signals so uh, this is the student learning process so for example no we we have desired knowledge so we apply natin sa control system then of course we can ano um kakaroon tayo ng mga some alam natin yung mga errors no so papasok kay sa controller which is yung at top which is uh, sample din yung teacher ako then dahil nalaman natin yung error yung teacher pupunta kay student yung mga lectures na ibibigay then yun na yung process so yung the student will do the process then the knowledge so parang meron tayong feedback ang feedback natin diyan or yung measurement natin diyan is the exams then yung measured knowledge puputa na naman doon tayo sa desired knowledge so this uh sample okay it's sample of the student learning process or sample of the control systems natin so okay so let's uh try it dito sa simplified block diagram of a shift steering control so modern ship uses electrical mechanical and hydraulic components to develop rudder commands in response to the side heading commands to steer the ship for example ito yung desired ship yung wing angle natin then of course may mga error okay so the controller ito makukuha ng controller then pupunta doon ka sa rudder angle yan then the ship steering system okay then ang ilalabas sa after natin pumunta dito sa ship steering ship steering system so doon na tayo magkakaroon ng actual ship yawing angle okay so magkakaroon ulit tayo ng feedback or cycle okay so ganun lang naman okay okay another sample natin dito sa control system yung thickness control system for a steel plate finishing mill Okay, yung meron tayong desired plate thickness. So, pag sinabi natin input, this is just the desired. Ito yung kailangan or uh, ito yung iniisip natin or ito yung uh, dinidesire natin. Ito yung um, gusto natin makuha. Okay? Then, of course, papasok na naman sa controller. Pagpapasok sa controller, ipapasa niya doon sa roller. Nandang kakaroon na ng roller gap adjustment. Then the roller will release the actual thickness measured using the X-ray. Then we can ng cycle. So that's the steel plate thickness control systems. So as you can see, this is the aircraft wing control system. So, <clears throat> ito yung ano actually ito yung talagang design, okay? So nandito yung spring. Dito yung hydraulic servo motor, yung oil under pressure, the magnet, permanent magnet, the control stick, the wing, and the power cylinder. As you can see, no, andyan yung ating mga parts of the aircraft wing control system. So, meron din tayong sample, another sample, the anti-aircraft radar con tracking control system. So, ganyan din yung ating process. So, at dito, papasok yung input, yung desired, no? Desired, uh, yung desired input natin. Then, lalabas na naman siya dito. So, as output, no? So, hindi ko na-explain to. Masyado na siyang technical. Okay, so a control system responses to an input by undergoing a transient response before reaching a steady state. So, a response characteristic, which is the input, output, transient response, steady state response, and steady state error. So, for example, uh, bigyan natin ng, ano, ng graph. 
So this is the floor sa Y na axis and time natin ito yung sa X axis. Then as you can see here um itong blue line na to. Itong blue line na to parang ito yung sa steady state response. And dito naman yung actual response. So Ditong part na to, ito yung des desired response. Itong nasa red one. Okay? This is the desired response. But, ito naman sa blue. So, dito sa part na to, sa gulp na yan, ito yung tinatawag nating steady state error. This is the differences between the input and the out. And dito naman to, sa part na to, the, um, the transient response, okay? So, that's the gradual change before the steady state response. So, from zero, as you can see, that's from zero. So, hindi to pa yung... Though, you, ito yung gusto natin. Huh? This is the desired response natin. Okay? So, but in the actual response, um, it starts with zero, then hindi siya talaga umaabot. Minsan, kadalasan, no? hindi siya umaabot doon sa ating desired response. Because there are errors na makikita. So, later on, sa mga later part, mas maiintindihan natin ito. Okay. So, ito yung mga terms and definitions. Sa input or stimulus, this is the a desired response. Okay? The output, this is the actual response. And the transient response, this is the gradual change from one steady state to another when there are changes in input. And steady state response, a state after transient component settled down, only exists for a stable system. And steady state error, yung makikita natin the nagop, that's the differences between the input and output. Okay, so this is the typical response of a system to a step input. So, the amplitude and this is the time. Okay, so, as part na to, this is the output signal or the actual. And this is, itong line, okay, yung horizontal line na yan. That's the input signal or that's the desired response na hiningi natin na gusto nating makatin sana. Okay? So, so, from this part, zero to this part, okay? That's the transient response. And yung dito naman, starting here, papunta dito, sa last, that's the steady state response. 